Okay, so we've got hello.c. Go ahead and run this command in your directory that you were in. Hello-o, or sorry, gcc-o, hello, and hello.c in your uh, Linux VM. And once you've done that, then you're going to use readl dash lowercase l and then hello. So I'll show it on mine. gcc dash o hello hello dot c and then read l dash l hello. All right, and so we're going to scroll up a little bit. And we want to look at this array where it's talking about program headers, right? So, unfortunately, it's not all nice and uh, horizontal, but what we're going to see is you're going to have offset and then virtual address and then file size below offset and mem size below virtual address. So, offset is saying basically is that p underscore ph off, p underscore offset. No, it doesn't matter. So, that's the file offset is saying where does this segment start? And so in this case, it's saying for the ph header, so the type was p uh, t underscore ph header. It's just read alpha is leaving off the p t underscore. And so the type is p header. The start address in the file is hex 40. The file size, so go down from there. The file size is 1f8. So it's going from 40 to 1f8. And then because this is not of type load, it's not going to be mapped into memory. So it doesn't really matter what this virtual address and mem size are because it's not actually getting loaded up. It still filled it in. I don't know why, but it's not going to actually be used for mapping it into memory. Then there's this physical address. We said that we don't even care about this field. I didn't even talk about it. You'll most commonly see the physical address just set to the same thing as the virtual address, but it's not actually used. And then we've got the flags. This is read and execute. So in this sense, the segments are much simpler than the section header characteristic that we had in PE. There's no pageable. There's no not cached. There's no discardable. It's just read, write, execute. So it's saying if you're going to map it into memory, then it would have particular characteristics. Again, this is not going to be uh, mapped into memory. It will be by virtue of this uh, other, th other uh, load segment. Though. So. The load segments are what, well, okay, before we get there, interpreter section, interpret segment, right, PT interp. It starts at offset three, uh, 238 into the file, and it's 1C big, and then readelf has just nicely pulled that out for you and said, if you were to go 138 into this file, you would have this string, slash lib64, slash ld linux, x8664. This is the dynamic linker for the 64-bit system. The LD is linker dynamic. So this is the string. This is the actual binary, which will be loaded into memory before I execute hello world. So I can actually stop a debug. I can use a debugger. I can stop it before it actually loads hello world. And I can see that that's going to be mapped into memory uh, before the rest of my binary. And so these are the things that we really care about, the load segments. These are what's going to say what chunks of file are going to be loaded into memory. So you've got one that starts at 0 and goes to 6DC. And it's going to be loaded at virtual address hex 400,000. And the total mem size is 6DC. So we've got no extra memory padding on this thing. There's no BSS going on. It's just going to take this memory and put it in this file data and put it into memory. Right? And then we've got a section, second load segment that starts at E18. So here's the first thing we can infer from this. We had one that goes from 0 to 6DC, and then we've got another one that starts at E18. So there's like this gap between 6DC in the file and E18, which is like a no man's land. We don't know like what's in there. We just know that whatever is in there is not explicitly being mapped into memory, because the next memory map portion starts right here at E18. So E18 gets mapped into memory at 600,000 E18. So it's not like mapping it into memory at the zero that, you know, just 600,000, for instance. 
And we'll see why this is later that they kind of like align the file offset with the virtual memory offset. Basically just make it simpler on themselves when they read from file into memory. All right, and the total size, it's from E18 and it's total size of 208. And now the virtual size is 218. So here we've got a virtual size that's hex 10 bigger than the file size. So we've got some sort of BSS stuff going on here. We've got more memory than we've got data on disk. And so there's going to be hex 10 worth of data at the end of this that uh, is going to be filled in at runtime, basically. It's uninitialized global variable kind of stuff. All right, so that's the main stuff we really care about. And then we've got dynamic and we've got note and other GNU specific things. But what we really care about and especially matters for packing later is you'll see, you know, packed file has just this. And that's all you're going to see. You're just going to know it's going to map stuff into memory at particular locations and it's going to allocate certain virtual memory sizes. Now the thing that was shown below this is it's actually trying to show you the mappings from segments to sections. So this would be the segment index. So starting up here at index 0, p header, it's saying p header segment has no sections that actually map to it. Uh, one, the, there's a dot interp section that maps to the interp segment. And then, you know, once we get to the load sections, which cover a big chunk of the file, yeah, most all of the sections map to that. So going back to this sort of picture that I showed before, which shows the overlap between the two, this is what readalf is basically trying to show you. It's saying there's some program headers, and they're going to specify particular segments. There's section headers, which are going to specify particular sections. And typically, there's more sections then there are segments, and so you're going to have many of these sections actually map within a particular segment. And especially those two load segments, there's going to be you know, one big one that has multiple different sections within it. So for now, this is mostly just a curiosity, just saying that there's many different little segment sections running around inside these segments. All right. So I think we're mostly done with program headers. Let me check. Right, so this is just the mapping between different segments and all of the sections contained within. 